Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Great article here for you guys from Cord Cutter News. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So we've had a strong investment from AT&T over the last five years. Very, very strong. So AT&T has invested more than $145 billion in the last five years to improve its wireless and fiber network. Now, the big question for, for the wireless enthusiasts is going to be how much of that $145 billion really went towards wireless? That's going to be a very big question. And I think over the years, even, even more now than ever before, the split, right, because their CapEx is split. The split, and I've, I've heard rumblings about this already, the split now is more of the CapEx is going to, uh, or a bigger chunk of it is going to fiber versus wireless. I have been told that already like about a year ago or so. And then, you know, that was kind of a very, um, how can I say it? Um, I didn't hear it from many people. But now I'm hearing it more and more and more that, hey, look, this, the, the CapEx split is going more towards fiber versus wireless. And, you know, if you think about it, if you sit back, if you look at it, you might say rightfully so, because it is just much more expensive to really build this fiber, especially in areas where they've never been before. So there's nothing for them to really build off of. They have to build everything brand new, the hubs, the fiber, the trenching. So that's just very expensive. So they have to hire contractors um, to do all the work. They got to buy the, the fiber spool and all of that is just very expensive. So from that objective, right, looking at it objectively, how much did they really spend on wireless out of the 145 billion? And that that will remain a mystery uh, for time to come because they don't really report that publicly. They don't report a breakdown publicly. But <clears throat> regardless, right, like I said in the previous video, you really can't, you really can't bash Stanky. He's, the numbers look good on wireless. Maybe the network isn't as dynamic as, as some would like it to be. Maybe it's not as good, not as much mid band as the competition, which, which is a fact, right? They don't have as much mid band, but they still grow at a solid number and their churn is the lowest in the industry. So can you really put the blame on Stanky? Can you really go after Stanky? Not really. What, what, what can you say? He will just point you to the numbers. He will say, I have the lowest churn and I grow bigger than Verizon with less mid band. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of tough to really break AT&T down and, and analyze because the numbers are still good. The business is still growing. And even though they may have not invested as much on wireless, they still do good enough on the numbers. It was different if they grew less and the churn was a bit higher. Then we could say, hey, look, you need to invest more in wireless. But the churn is the lowest in the industry and they grow bigger than Verizon. So, I mean, there isn't really much else to say. Do I wish they had more mid-band on air? Of course. Do I wish they, put, they, they started putting mid-band, C-band on the C-RAN that they're deploying? Of course. But they're not. The C-RAN that you have seen, that I've seen, and I've been sharing with you guys, those are just LTE only. No CBRS, no nothing. So, they're... Some may say they're just doing the bare minimum, but like I said, as a carrier, you have to serve the base. And if what at and is doing is good enough to serve their base and the churn is low, then who are we to complain, right? Uh, I mean, that's just how it is. Are they gonna build more mid-band? Yes. Are they gonna build it at a slower pace? Probably. Are they gonna do the rip and replace from Nokia to Ericsson? Yes, they're going to do that. That's going to keep them busy. Are they going to ORAN? Yep, that's going to keep them busy. So some might say that's distracting. That's a distraction from the whole mid-band thing. I mean, you can view that however you want, but the numbers are proof. They have the lowest churn in the industry, and they grow bigger than Verizon. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.